Well, thanks so much for joining us. Hope you're having a great day. And we're going to talk today about what it means to continue to stand firm in unshakable faith. Standing firm in unshakable faith. We're going to look at a passage today where Job held fast to his integrity. So the first of Job's life had kind of been a cakewalk. We could say is like layers of moist blessing, iced with thick frosting of more blessing. Then the cake collapsed. And Job had to make a choice. It's easy to love God when things are going sweet, right? But what about when things go sour? Job had lost all his children and his possessions. Unimaginable. Now, now he's about to lose his health. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. This is Job chapter 2, verses 7 through 10. And he struck Job down with loathsome sores from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head. And he took a piece of broken pottery with which to scrape himself while he sat in the ashes. And then Job's wife said to him, do you still hold fast to your integrity? Curse God and die. But he said to her, you speak as one of the foolish women would speak. Shall we receive good from God, and shall we not receive evil? And all this Job did not sin with his lips. So the spiritual life always involves a spiritual crossroads. It, it always amazes me. It's, a lot of times, after a, a person's verbal possession, there's this painful life experience that calls for a pronouncement. And the pronouncement is, Am I, in, am I in or am I out? Will I follow Christ or not? Are you simply a professor or are you a true possessor? Professor of faith or a possessor of faith? Job came to that crossroads in our passage today. He said among the ashes of a broken body with a broken heart. Would he curse God and die? Or would he accept the burdens along with the blessings. There's a guy named Arthur Gossip. He was a pastor of Beech Grove Church in Aberdeen, Scotland. In 1927, he was 54 years old. He was at the height of his ministry, and things could not have been going better in his life or in the church. And then suddenly, unexpectedly, his wife died. The Sunday after her death, he preached a sermon trying to reconcile his faith with such um, a sudden and tragic loss. Listen to what he says. He says, I, I do not understand this life of ours, but still less can I comprehend how people in trouble and loss and bereavement can fling away peevishly from the Christian faith in God's name. Fling to what? Have we not lost enough without losing that too? There's going to be challenging times in life. Don't fling away peevishly what you know to be true. Trust God. He is always faithful. Father, thank you for the example of Job, and thank you for the example of, of uh, Arthur John Gossip the guy who lost his wife, and says, I'm still going to trust God through difficult, difficult. I don't understand, but I'm going to trust. In fact, Father, it's in those challenging times when, when we really do trust you. So I pray for those going through some challenging times today. Lord, help them to trust you, not to fling away their faith, but to trust you, to hold fast to you, to stand firm in unshakable faith, that faith that you provide. I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. And again, thanks so much for joining us. Can't tell you how much I appreciate the opportunity to meet day after day and just uh, interact with you in God's Word. So we'll see you next time.